hello great news lovers welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be listening to a sermon by bishop david abioye of living faith church in this sermon he was talking about the importance of mentorship importance of mentorship why we need a mentor as youths he said one thing is that why youths we have vision Older people that have gone ahead of, us, ahead of us have both that vision and experience. And that is what will enable them to give us counsel. He went ahead to list about six reasons why we need mentorship. One of the things that stood about out for me in those six reasons is that he said counsel. Counsel is important because these mentors have a combination of knowledge and experience. And what is experience? Experience is is tested or proven knowledge so this is one of the reasons we need mentorship i believe that you listen and be blessed and please drop any of your comments your suggestions what you learned in the comment section do well to listen to the end because at the end i'll also be sharing other things i learned from this clip god bless you everyone that wants to become great in the future must consciously and deliberately locate a mentor for himself. Mentorship is the link between the young and the old. Young men are known for vision. Old men are known for counsel. The security of every vision largely depends on the counsel that is available in the running of that vision. It is the counsel of elders that helps to manage the vision of the youth. You may have an idea, but you don't know the way as much. By having a mentor, what are you going to achieve? A mentor is a monitor. He helps to monitor you. A mentor is a refiner. He helps to refine you. He helps to bring the best out of you. A mentor is a reference point. You've heard our president, Bishop Oedipo, say over and over again, every time he's confronted with major decisions, he has one book on Kenneth Hagin that he goes to make reference to. Especially since the Lord told him, walk after the pattern is god said to him he said i have i want you to pattern your ministry after this man there are people in your life that you should have as a pattern if you don't want to be battered there are models that you must have if you want your life to be modeled there are standards you must employ if you want to stand well in the future a mentor is a guide he knows the way on which you are trying to go a mentor is a moderator. He moderates you and the things you want to do. He helps you to curb your excesses. Because you see, being a youth, you can become excessive. You can become overzealous. You can, you can drag yourself and overdrag yourself until you are destroyed. You may not know. Because you see, people may be clapping for you even when you are heading for the gutter. That's why you must not rule your life by reason of how people clap for you. 
Human beings, they will keep clapping for you. You will have to discover a gauge for yourself. Otherwise, you will be stepping to the gutter and they will still be clapping for you. And when you enter the gutter, they will now close you up. That's why I don't measure my life by clap. When I preach, whether you clap or not, that's your own. It doesn't move me. I've never been moved. You know, clapping is not, is not the approval of a good message. Are you hearing that? Amen. While there is no crime in clapping, but the person over whose message they are clapping must not be carried away. He must not mistake people's clap for divine approval. That's why you need a mentor. What a mentor does is to give you counsel. And if you read from various passages in Proverbs, the Bible says without counsel, purposes are destroyed. He said, by counsel, thou shalt make your war. So what mentors do is to offer you counsel. Counsel is the guide and security of vision. Counsel is combination of knowledge and experience. Young men have knowledge, but old people have experience. Counsel is tested and proven knowledge. Vision is synonymous to the young, but counsel is synonymous to the elders. That's why when you have mentors, they pour their experience into your knowledge. They pour their experience into your knowledge. That's why, in all probability, those who have mentors will perform far better than those who don't have. Never let the new destroy the old. If you watch Jesus very well, apart from the way he demonstrated it, he made it very clear. He said, I have not come to destroy the law. That means, even though I have a new vision, I have a new idea, I will not ignore the old. So he sat with the old. Both hearing and asking questions and when he was done it became clear that he was wiser not only more than his peers but he became wiser than his counselors in all probability when you listen to counselors you become wiser than them in all probability when you have a mentor in the ultimate you become greater than your mentor Thank God for new vision. But the place of experience of the elders must not be ignored. There is a, an adage from the West that says, no matter how many new clothes a child may boast of, he can't boast of as much of rags that elders have. Rags are used cloths. If you have new cloths, you can't claim that you have as many rags. I like to advocate and recommend to everyone here today look for a mentor, look for elders to be connected with. And how do you do that? So in our next post, we'll be sharing on how to locate these mentors. Do well to check out our next post. But before we go to that, I hope we learn something. Please, let's drop them in the comment section and we'll interact with each other 
Finally, another thing that stood out for me is that mentors are moderators. They help moderate and curtail our excesses. God bless you.